breached Dwight's speech confession. Good evening, bitches. 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 Hey, who the fuck are you in, boy? Get the fuck out of my life. You're showing your cunt flaps. Why would you believe any of this? Well, ma'am, the, the gentleman, he, he's the... The gentleman? Who is the fucking gentleman? Well, ma'am, ma'am, please bring it down a notch. You need to learn proper masturbation skills. I wish your car was at my lot. I would have to fuck you up and stuff, man. God bless you. It's morphin' time. Morphin' time. Lawsuit time. Loser. Inappropriate. I'll yeah, fuck you to you! Well, you we'll... fucking dog sucker! I'll call this number again! We're gonna call a uh... lot. Hello, I think the chick front of my fucking head is right now, and I'll fucking put a knife in your fucking throat. Mmm, fuck yeah. Look, you piece of card, sir. No, I didn't, bro. Hey, your mom sucked the hell out of the none of the drugs. Uh, come right this mom. Gathering around to make a prank call. Wow. Your fucking wife loves it when I check her meter. Yeah. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a cooler faucet <laughs> shirt right up your ass. I just got done blowing my boy Dwight and shit. Well, if you were doing your job, ma'am, and you would, you would walk into that room right now and pull out his pants and start jerking him off and showing him. Oh, you fucking dick! Did you uh, fucking say that to me? You fucking asshole! Keep it down. Uh, Patreon patrons, I forgot to fucking do your shout out last week because it was the first show of the month, but I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, so these are your patrons for for December, fucking December, last month of the year. Uh, starting at the very top, I don't know how his name is in t on top of AXPA, but Jerry Seinfeld, everybody. He's on, he's on top of AXPA, which is supposed to be in alphabetical order. I don't know how this works. But then you have AXPA. Uh, we have Kronk, Audi Love, Believer for Life. Uh, I'm going to call it, I'm just calling him Claws. Claws. Brown Magic, Bucket of Walnuts, Cactus. Uh, the man just known simply as Chris. Uh, then we have Chris Little. Crispy 808, uh, Cheese and Beans, Clifford, Dar uh, Darzer, uh, Day, uh, yeah, no, that's Jarvis, Jarvis right there, and we got Davey, Default Urine, DZ Jackson, Dragon Mirror, uh, I gotta highlight this one because I always forget the full thing, Dwight ate my ass yesterday for lunch, we have Ernie, F in Reality, El Guapo's Ghost, uh, we have Elizabeth, Elver, Eric L, Eric W, Frank Page, Glenn. Uh, this one is Green Green Beast eats ass ass ass. <laughs> uh, Hyphing, Horticals, I'll fix your pipes. Uh, we have Jason B, J Smooth, J T, uh, Katamari Man. Luis, Mad Hatter. Uh, we have Make History Swiftly, Mark uh, W, Max Power, Mike S, Mike W. I always call him Wiener, but he corrected me. He says not it, but I'm gonna keep calling him Wiener. Mister Jackass, Mister Stevo, Mister Polar, Miss Balls Deep Inc. Give me a second while. Pa oh, Patreon's actually going quick. Yeah, and uh, Mystery Science Theater Clay um, number three. Uh, Nico, oh my god, it's trash. Uh, P.S. Parkman, Polster Cactus, People's Karma Squad, F Phone Losers of America, Prospection Numeric, uh, Radical, Radiant Digital, Ralphus Tittle, <laughs> Ralphus Tittle. I haven't heard that name before. Is this your first month? Yeah, it is. Uh, Ronin, Rumpled Foreskin, Ryan Friday, Ryan S, Sam French, Sam L, Shy Boy, Snappy Bakes, Sonam, Steve B, Steve Dave Johnson, Super Duper Ed, The Real Crazy Craze, Tyler R, Vandershire, Wasted Memory, uh, William uh, J, Wingless, Xander Fett, and Experts. 
And those are your 82 fucking Patreons for December. That's a lot. Woo! What a gang, brother. I took the nice fucking job. ass right out of me to read all that. Holy Mickey Mouse shit, you wore him out. A dog humping on the screen. Yes, it is. That's Pixel. That is Cat and Mad's dog that's doing the humping. She likes to hump and dominate. And that's what we do here on this show is we dominate. So Pixel was in there just humping right in the middle of the screen. That was from the last meetup that we had. That we got we had a place that had it was pet friendly, so we brought the dog along and did the humping. The hump. I'm a, I do like at the end of the gift, Pixel's looking around like, hey, why is nobody paying attention to me humping? Oh, Dwight was paying attention. <laughs> Thank you for calling Motel 6, Mesa South. This is Kevin. Hey, Kevin. How you doing? I'm in the room here, and I've got a, a quick question because I'm having some stuff shipped to me because I'm going to be here for a few days. Do you know, uh, do they just drop it off in the lobby when they bring it, or are they going to leave it outside, or should they call me? I mean, what's the procedure here? Um, so normally when people ship stuff here, uh, when they put just their address, you know, 1511 South Country Club Drive, it just gets shipped directly here to the front office. I don't know if there's like special delivery instructions you can put on there to ship it directly to your room, yeah. but they do usually just ship it, you know, front office, then we just give you a call. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just wondering, because I, I don't want it sitting around for too long. Um, my mother just recently passed away over in California, oh. and I'm having her body shipped here to the hotel so I can spend the holidays with her. And I just wanted to make sure that um, somebody was going to receive her body because I don't think it should be sitting in the box for too long in warm weather. Right, right, right. All right, yeah. We'll probably just give you a call about it. Okay. Um, just what, what you're going to be looking for is it looks like two duffel bags taped together. And then it'll say it'll say Miriam on the outside of it. And then somebody just has to sign okay. for it. Does it Does it have your name on it any, by any chance? Yeah, yeah. It, it says Dwight on there. Uh, and it should have okay, it should perfect. have my room number on there as well. Um, just just let me know when my mother my mother has arrived. Do you have anyone that can bring her up? Like, do you got those luggage cards? Could you scoot her on down and just give her a little shove down to my room? Yeah, sadly no. We don't have any sort of like no. cards here. You know, okay, I'm gonna suitcase one. You got like two or three guys that could help me carry her because she was a big girl. There's usually just, like, one of us here during the night. I'm not sure when she's going to arrive, but it does depending on when. Well, I would guess during the day, because I, I, I would assume that, like, UPS, FedEx don't deliver. Oh, probably, anything. yeah. But, yeah, I'll just need I'll just need one person to help me, like, carry or drag her down to the room. Oh, yeah, we should have someone here in the front office. So, I mean, you can try asking them. I'm not sure if they'd be comfortable with that, you know? Okay, yeah, no, that's understandable. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and check on there. I'm checking the tracking right now, and it's showing about two days out. So she should be nice and ripe yeah. when she gets here. All right, man. Hopefully, uh, we'll call you when we get her. All right. Sounds good. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good night. You too. <laughs> Hello. Is that Samantha? No. Sorry. You have the wrong number. Well, maybe you got the wrong phone then. You ever think of that? Give Samantha back her phone. Okay. Give her back her phone. This is a landline. It's a man's line? Goddamn right. You better get off the phone. A then. Lan- <laughs> it is a land line. What is that? It's not a cell phone. What is that? I'm a millennial. You know, it's like a wall that has a phone hanging from it instead of a cell phone. Oh, like a restaurant phone? <laughs> I guess. I guess I still don't understand. I need more. I need more descriptions. What do you got? This is not a cell phone. So okay, you keep calling it, here looking what? for Samantha, like a it, lot of people do. What is it? I've had this phone for three years. I don't know why you guys keep calling. You've had it for three years. <laughs> Thank you for calling OYO. Press one to make a new booking. Press two for assistance on your existing Just booking. I guess Press, those are only this options. call will be recorded for quality and training purposes. It's only options. Thank you for calling the OIU Reservations. This is Aqua. How may I assist you today? Did you say your name was Awkward? I'm sorry? What is your name? My name is Oracle. How may I assist you Oracle. today? Oracle. Okay, Oracle. I need to... Uh, I need to... I, I guess figure out what's going on with my reservation. 
They told me that my room was not available when I got there, and they said that I was going to have to stay in the mobile room. Uh, but this, I, number one, I didn't book a mobile room. And number two, what they're calling a quote-unquote mobile room is just the elevator. Please allow me a moment, so let me just fetch out the details. Okay. Can you kindly help me out with your booking ID, sir? Booking ID? Uh, it is S is in Sam, P is in Paul, the number three, R is in Randy, M is in Michael. That's your reservation ID? Yes. Okay, is it under the name of Tessie Lom or is it under the name of Elizabeth Lehar? That's Elizabeth. Sorry? Elizabeth. Okay. Well, the booking ID which you provided was an invalid ID. That would be four letters and then that would be four numbers. Yeah. That's right. So what's the booking ID once again? Uh, S is a Sam, P is a Paul, the number three. R is a Randy. So there would be four uh -huh. letters. Uh-huh. And then there would be four numbers. Yeah, I haven't got to the four numbers yet. You said S, P, then the number three. Yes. So it would not be a mix of numbers. It would be four letters and then four numbers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is, uh, oh, hang on. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I hope I don't lose the section. Okay. Uh, hang on. I'm going to finish through the fold. Hang on. I need both hands. Take your time. All right, it's S P E R M one five one three. You gave me five letters and four numbers. Yeah, uh, hang on, it stinks. I tied food today. It's yeah, S P E R one five one three. I'm afraid, sir, but there's no such reservations, I'm afraid. What do you mean? Oh, i got to sit down now. This is going to come out. Oh. Oh. From where did you make the reservation? Oh. 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 From oh, where did you make the reservation? Oh, on Expedia. I'm afraid you have to contact Expedia for that. Oh, well, they said I had to contact you. I'm afraid, sir, but you'll have to contact Expedia for that. Oh, my God. Sir, one last question before I contact Expedia. Does this sound healthy at all? I'm sorry? Does this sound healthy at all, you? I'm afraid, sir, that you'll have to contact Expedia for further information on your oh. reservation. Sir? Sir? Hello, sir? Nice and Mesa, can I help you? Oh my god, dear, how are you? Fine. I'm in the room here, and I've run out of cigarettes. Can you be a doll and run to the store for me? No, I can't leave my post. Well, is there anybody else that's around that might be a good little boy and run over to the store for me? Because my wheelchair, I've got it plugged in right now. It doesn't have any any juice left in the goddamn rascal here. Yeah, no, not that I'm aware of. 
What room are you in? <laughs> I'm on the second floor, number 15. <coughs> Number what? Number 15 on the second floor. Uh, I, I, I gotta have somebody you. carry my, my rascal scooter up here, and now I have no real way of getting back down. And all you got is stairs. You guys said the first floor is all booked up. Yeah. So can either somebody run to the store for me, or who somebody's going to have to carry me down the stairs. And you're in what room? I'm 15? On, I'm 15, 215 on the second floor. I need another another fifth of bourbon and some more smokes. I need some Winston <laughs> Reds. <laughs> we don't do service like that, sir. Sir, I am a ma'am. Oh, okay. So I need somebody to service me. This goes against everything that has to do with the American Disability Acts. You're preventing me from living my life as a free American by denying me services that you would do for anybody else. Is that right? Yes, and if you don't go get me my bourbon and cigarettes, I know one bitch is about to go on the naughty list for Santa. All right. <laughs> You're about to be on the very naughty list, and you're not getting anything for Christmas. Not from Bernice. Bernice will not give you a dime. Okay. Do you understand me? I could be your grandmother for all you know, and you treat me like this. Is this how you treat your grandmother? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my god, you're such a little heathen. Right. I swear to God, if I try to go down the stairs and I fall, I'm going to tell them that you guys, it's all your faults. Okay. Do you understand uh, me? Yes. Huh? <laughs> yes, I do. I, I got the English. <laughs> and you're in 215. 215, yes. Oh, my I God. I believe that... And you want bourbon and cigarettes? Well, I will take any bourbon, anything that's cheap. I'm on a budget. I get Social Security. But I gotta have the Winston Reds. Okay. I'll try to send someone up right away. I'll give them a tip. I'm not asking them to run for free. If you just have somebody come up here and help an old goddamn woman out. Okay. God damn it. Okay, I'll see what I can do. All right, I appreciate you. God damn it. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. God damn it. Don't laugh at me. I'm not laughing at you. God damn it. Hello? Hi, I was trying to reach Thomas. Who's calling? Oh, my name is Dwight. I'm calling from uh, T-Mobile. I understand he had a little bit of an issue. Uh, I don't think so. Hold on a minute. All right. I'm calling from T-Mobile because we had Hello. Hey, is this Tom? Or Thomas, I'm sorry. I, yes. I don't mean to be so familiar with you. Um, I have spoken mm -hmm. with Maya, a part of our uh, our, our uh, Twitter team there, and she said that you were having a little bit of an issue and you were requesting a call so that we could try to get you back on track with whatever you're having an issue with. Sure. My uh, um, hotspot keeps building um, usage, and I'm not turning it on, so... I'm up to three gig, and I've had it on for maybe five minutes at the most uh, since since my uh, uh, bill was paid, and you know my my numbers were all reset. So I don't I don't know what's using my hotspot. Okay, um, I, I'm sorry to hear about that. Uh, let me ask you this: What is the phone model that you currently have? It's uh, what's this this phone? It's a uh, yeah, it's a Motorola. Uh, hold on, <laughs> we're, we're trying to remember. You got us on the spot here. We never think about, huh? Stylus. 
Oh, the stylus. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, Motorola stylus. Motorola. Sorry, we. Oh we no, 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 you're fine. Yep. You're fine. Uh, let yep. me go ahead yep. and take a look at this. And do you use your your hotspot fairly often, or is this uh, a first no. time you've tried to use it? First, it's not the first time. No, I've used my hotspot many, many times right. over the years that I've that I've had T Mobile. But this month, uh, when I paid my bill and everything was set to zero, I noticed that it was starting to show usage, and I've been monitoring it. Um, and like I said, I think I turned it on for about five minutes to use my laptop uh-huh. and that was it. And it's jumped up to three gig. So I, I don't know what's going on. And that's, we give you, yeah. uh, we, I believe your plan I'm looking at right here. You get, uh, uh, 10 gigs a month. Is that right? No, no. Oh, are, no, you, on, are you on the five? Oh, which one? How much? 15. 15. Oh, Okay. Uh, I know we we usually go depending on the 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 package that you're on. It goes uh, five, ten, and then fifteen. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's yeah. see here. I'm going to run a um, a quick mobile scan here, real quick, because you do have to go through a mm-hmm. few steps in order to turn that uh, hot spot on. It's not like you just you might have accidentally pushed it or anything, because um, it, it, it does notify you. Uh, let me run a quick scan yep. here. Uh, you may notice your Bluetooth turn on. Uh, while I'm running this scan, it's nothing to be alarmed about. Well, it's on any, it's on all the time. Okay, all right, great. Uh, some people don't use it, and then when I'm running the scan, they mm-hmm. they kind of get alerted on that, and um, sometimes it can be a very mm-hmm. jarring thing when you're not expecting it. Uh, let's. Yeah, see. Could, could you hold hold on hold on just a minute? Sure. Mm-hmm. Right. My wife was just uh, reminding me that uh, our phones are on the same plan, and hers does not show any gain in in uh, uh, hotspot usage. Okay. So for some reason, it's just my phone. It's just yours. All right. Yeah, the scan is mm-hmm. finishing up right now. Apparently, what we're seeing here is there was malware on the telephone itself, um, mm-hmm. and it appears to be through some usage on it, – it looks like some um, – not unauthorized. I mean, it is unauthorized usage, uh, but they're they're very low reputation sites. Um, oh, really? Yeah, it looks like it was done through a couple videos that were watched. Uh, one of them, and part of my language, while I repeat this, uh, there was one. Mm-hmm. It was a video called "Big Black Pussy Pumpers." Nope. And Did not watch that. <laughs> and then there was another one called uh, "Gay for Jesus." Nope. Nope. Okay. Um, Mm -mm. Yeah, they're showing on here that it's been viewed over 150 times combined. and uh, No kidding. It's it's actually showing that it's playing right now on your telephone. Um, Really? Yeah. Um, Let me see here. Let me see if I can get that to deactivate. It's it's playing as a process in the back of your telephone right now. Um, Okay. So, So I wouldn't see it. No, no, no! You wouldn't see it. It's running as a process. It's it's in the uh, uh, in the logs in the back here. Give me a second here. Let me see if I can turn mm-hmm. it off. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm able to see the video here. I'm trying to deactivate it. Apparently, what it's showing it's a um, it's a pregnant nun uh, who is having sex with her lesbian lover. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, but let's see if we can. Oh, good Lord. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. These religious people are kind of crazy. No, no. Um, being, being an, an ordained minister, I would not be watching anything. Oh, like you're that. a minister. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's starting I, no, to make sense no. now. Okay. Uh, let's <laughs> see here. Um, so let me ask, let me ask you, is your wife anywhere near you right now? Is she in the background or anything? Can she hear us? Uh, she, she, she just stepped out. Okay. Um, is it, is this something that you were watching and now you don't know how to get it off your phone? Maybe you don't want your wife. No, to no, 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 no. I'm just being, I'm just being honest with you. I'm just being one on one. Yeah, I understand. Yep. Yeah. I'm being 100. Yep, yep, like I understand. Yep. Yeah. No, I, uh, I wouldn't watch, you know, nothing like that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me go on here. <laughs> Yeah, I just I just don't get it. Like the the whole premise of this pornographic video is going on. I've almost got it wiped off. It's fifty percent wiped off right now. But it, okay. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. This nun is is pregnant, 
Number one, I don't think Bones mm-hmm. are supposed to be getting pregnant. And number two, how did she get pregnant? And number three, how was she a lesbian now? Because she's with this other woman and they're scissoring. I don't know what's going uh, on. And, yeah, and, well, and fourth, be, they're, and fourth they're, 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 a, they're a Hispanic, but I thought those were people of Catholic uh, faith. I don't know what's going on here. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Okay, I've got it. I've got it wiped off. I've got it wiped off of okay. there. It's it's off of there. You shouldn't see any more usage on that uh, hot spot anymore. But let me ask you okay. this: um, because you said you're an ordained minister and you're not into that type of stuff, did you want me to go ahead mm. and erase this grinder application that's on your phone, or did you want me to leave that? It's on? A, what's it called? Grinder. Grind. No, it's, I'm not familiar. Um, it's like Tinder. You know, you know what Tinder is. Nope. Oh, it's basically a hookup app. Tinder's a hookup app for people that are uh, heterosexual or bisexual. No, Grinder is I for no gay use. men to find each other and to have intercourse. No, no, it, no. It's, it's on your I, phone. I'm not. No, no I nope. It's, I don't need that. Yeah, it's on there right now. Did you want me to get rid of it? Sure. All right. Give me a moment. Go ahead and get this off of here real quick. All right. Da, 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 da. All right. All right. That that is gone now. And um okay. I think that should clear everything up for you. But let me ask you this. Um we're giving everyone like almost like a free Christmas gift for communicating with us their problems here at the uh the technical desk and we're going to give you a free 6-month membership. Did you want the membership to Home and Garden? Or to the video uh, DVD of Cream Street 3? No, neither one. Nope. Well, I have to send out one. They don't give me an option for just no. Well, well, they're, they're going to have to, you're going to have to take that up with them because I want neither. Oh. I, home and garden, I live in my camper and I travel about, so oh, okay. I have no use for I, either one. I'll put a note in here. I'll try to I'll try to tell them that you're moving about and that we there's just no good mailing address and maybe they'll take that. Um, but I, sure. I think we got you all squared away. Let me just recap what we've done. Uh, we've removed the uh, the videos that you didn't know that were eating your hotspot in the background. We've removed that. We've removed the grinder. Okay. Uh, application from your telephone too, which probably was put on at the same time. Uh, does that pretty much uh-huh. uh, cover what we've done here today? Right. How would that get on here? Did it piggyback on something else? It's, it's I might possible have installed? that maybe you started up your hotspot at one point without your password, and they may have jumped on no. uh, during that time. Never. Or if your phone was left Never. unoccupied, sometimes they can get in through the Bluetooth. And uh, up. Uh, I see. Yeah, because my Bluetooth is on all the time for my Fitbit watch. Yeah, sometimes if, so they, uh, if they're able to get the the pairing code on your telephone on your Bluetooth, they can they can actually log on to your phone. So, no kidding. So yeah, okay. you, you just want to be careful with that code in high high visible areas. Um, yeah. But did you have any other concerns uh, that I can help you out with? Well, I'm concerned that can I get my uh, uh, hotspot reset? Oh, reset? Yeah, I can reset that for you, and that's no problem. I'll well, sure. Ahead. I mean, I haven't been using it, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no problem. And I confirmed that it wasn't you using it, but I'll go, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. It's probably going to take about a day and a half for it to reset because I have to send it. To yeah, the that's process. fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, if there's, if there's nothing else, I'm going to go ahead and let you go, mm-hmm. and I'm going to go ahead and apply the $150 accelerated help fee onto your telephone bill. And you'll be seeing that on your next No, you're not. Cycle. No, no, I'm not paying a hundred and fifty dollar fee. What? What do you mean? Well, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Attacking a hundred and fifty dollar fee on my phone bill. Yeah, but you won't see that until after the holidays, until next month. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, it, no, we're not. We're not doing that. Yeah, well, what are you trying to do well, here? I don't. I'm not sure that you're on the up and up here with me because explain, we didn't talk I'm, about any kind of accelerated I'll, I'll, fee. I'll, I'll explain. It's an accelerated help fee because we called you to get the problem taken care of. That's where the accelerated help. Right. Fee. If you would have called us. Well, you know, line, you called me. That's on you. But when you I mean, answered, I was you just asking consent- for help on Twitter, and I'm not paying a hundred fifty dollar fee. Well, when you when I called you, and do you answered, you became a consenting adult in the situation, and you agreed. Sure, you agreed. but you did not describe the uh, uh, terms to me. 
Did you? No, I'm going to play those. You for didn't. You. I'm going to play those for you in a second after I get off the line. The, a message over. No, I'm not. No, you're not doing that. No, no. And and you better not tack any kind of fee on my phone bill. It's already been. Or we're going to have another phone conversation. What well, we we already you got it. We already. I already did it though. No. 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 You better take it off. All right. Hang on a second. Oh my God. I'm just going to check it real quick. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh. <sighs> Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, hang on. Let me print Excuse it. Excuse me. I'm, I'm going to print out. Excuse me. Printing out the account. Real quick. No, you're not printing out. anything. Listen to me. I'm check Listen it. to me. We are retired. We live in, a mo- in our travel trailer, check and I it. we're gone. I can't get you over the printer. Hang on a second. <laughs> she hung up. <laughs> Do I need to call the police right now? Well, what are you calling the police for, ma'am? I have no idea. All I know is that I heard my husband talking about you were putting money on our phone bill. Right. I it would appear, go. Well, it would appear on I'm the calling the police. Bill. I'm calling the police. Ma'am, we have a right to run a business here. If you don't like it, then just then dis- disconnect. Hang up the fucking phone. Tweak my fucking neck again while I was sleeping. Uh, not tonight, but the last night. Luckily, I got my new machine. Got my new machine for Christmas, and it goes, brrr, cat calls it my dildo, but man, if you put this thing down by your clitoris, it'd come out black and blue. And it's the voicemail box of nine. No, I tell you, where is it? Here it is. Sex machine. Yeah. Sex machine. Right. It comes in this nice case. Right here, see? Let me pull this up. Nice case. And you pull it up. And uh, look at this. It's nice. Look at this right here. It's like a torture machine. Ah! Oh, that one fell. A that one sexing machine. I lost oh the attachment. Goodness. It went in the back. Hang on, where'd it go? There it is. It's back behind my monitors. Oh, there goes the wood. Probably the dirty one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we set that back That's up. That's your butt plug? That's nice. Oh, wow. that's good. And then, uh... So you got this, and you go like this, you go, and now it's like that, it's like, ah, and then you turn it on, and you do it. yeah, listen to that action, <laughs> listen to that thing, that's a vibrator, you put that on your, your that's like, got some horsepower, I hear torque, it does, it's a professional fucking, uh, one that like chiropractors and shit use to <laughs> it's fucking it'll uh, beat the shit out. Low end rumble there, that's just torque. Yeah, no, th- this thing is more oh, high yeah. power than those fucking massage chairs at the mall. Like this fucking thing, I got it on full that blast. Put your right ass now. to sleep. Like yeah, like if I put it on my, and I'm not gonna do that because that'll fucking hurt. But yeah, it, <laughs> let me turn it back off. All right. <laughs> Don't bruise yourself, holy fuck, it's, dude. It's <laughs> I've used it. Uh, I got it. The what am I doing? Here? I got it. Um, two days back which was funny because like it showed uh-huh. up my, dad, my dad's like oh your gift's here do you want it and I'm like I don't have time I'm leaving and I come back and he gave it to me I'm looking at it, I'm like Jesus Christ I was like well I guess you should probably look at yours then I bought him the same fucking thing but a different company's model yeah we bought each other wow. the same shit for Christmas yeah like my eyes. yeah well he had said something All about right. one uh, when we were uh he was at a store or something like that, and he saw one. I was like, oh, I was like, his old one's on its way out. It's a piece of shit. I was like, I'll get him that for Christmas. <laughs> How long does it hold a charge for? Uh, quite a while. I charged it for about an hour and a half when I first got it, and it's uh, oh, it's mm. at like 88% right now, and I've used it for hours. Like, oh, hell, I'll go for days, It, it man. barely uses any battery life. Uh, let's see. Nice. Uh... Okay, let me. Well, them things run, dude. That, it was a hundred bucks. That actually sounds like a bought. nice gift. It, it was a hundred bucks. Okay. Um, it was actually one one. Th- it's a respectable one, then. It's definitely a better unit. Yeah, it was one thirty, and then there was a um, a thirty dollar uh, coupon. So it knocked it down to a hundred, and then mm-hmm. by the time it got taxed on, it was like one hundred five. Um, but mm-hmm. the thing is. Once I got it here and opened it up, they had a thing in there. It was like, hey, rate our stuff and blah, blah, blah. And we'll give you a $40 Amazon gift card. 
So I went on and wrote a well, review, and I got a fucking forty dollar Amazon gift card to go go with it. So holy yeah. Shit. So by the time it's all said and done, nice. basically sixty bucks. Hello. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. Massage your ball set, dude. Do you don't want to get that fucking gun, that massage gun, anywhere near your balls? Any any sensitive areas you want to avoid? Is that thing gonna blow your fucking balls off? It, it'll set you clear. Yeah, fucking man. mashed potatoes for balls. <laughs> Okay, you want me to put it on my throat and act like I got... Uh, okay. I'll change the head that's on it right now, because if I put that one on my throat, that would probably fucking hurt. Um, let's take the little fork one off. That con- this, this one right here is very painful on your fucking calf. On your calves and shit, that one fucking... Oh, my God. It, like, it finds any knots. All any the air knots you have in your ends. calves, so, like, it fucking tears you... Like, oh, nobody loses. Let's do this one. <laughs> Trying to figure out which one's going to hurt less. Alright. I put that one in. I put the I put that one on. Alright, let's do it. Uh, on. Alright, we're going to go half. We're going to go half. I'm going to put a full blast. Hello, cat. How are you? I like to sing you a song. Boo, 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 boo. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> Let's try. That's it. better than talking to a fan. Let's Hell, go, you won't have no vocal we're, cords we're in about half hour. Right, let go full blast. Oh, oh we've increased. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Oh my god, I can't fucking talk now on my shit. Ah, blah, 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 I'm at the Krusty Krab. Give me all my fucking money, SpongeBob, you little bastard. Woo! That was fucking crazy. Oh, oh my gosh, you could do a Jill Rosenthal with that, and you wouldn't even have to, like, straighten your voice with the fucking beating to your throat. Here, here you go. <laughs> I it's am like a punch Iron in the Man, motherfucker. Blah, 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 blah. I would have massaged your cock with my throat. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he wants me to sing the song. I don't even know the whole song. What is it? I am Iron Man. Hot in a big magnetic field. <laughs> That's not how you use this. We gotta stop playing with making everything toys. Hey, uh, Tim Mesa, can I help you? Yeah, I just pissed on the air conditioning unit and it's sparking. Well, don't do that again. Well, I, I I can't see, God damn you. I'm blind, and I was tapping around looking for the toilet, making fun of me over here. And I just figured it out. It's sparking. It's making loud noises. Okay. So I need, I need to be moved rooms because this thing is acting a fool now. Who is this? Who is this? Oh my god! Who is this? My name is Dwight. Okay, Dwight. Help me, goddamn you! <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah! What's going on? Uh, I'm just waiting to hear from you. <laughs> yeah, well, I, how am I supposed to help you? I need to be moved rooms. Let's go. All right, come on down, and then we'll move you. Is this another joke? I'm fucking blind. Well, how did you get to where you were? One of your front desk people helped me to my room. They took me by the elbow and guided me because I had a man who he stole my walking stick, my nice long white walking stick. Stole it out of the car. The car you were driving? Don't be stupid, okay? I was an Uber. I got a ride. Oh, okay. You're coming off kind of ignorant right now. You have a bias against people with disabilities? What's the matter? No. Okay. Well, then you need to you need to help me. Okay. 
what room were you in? Huh? I don't know. Check your records. The guy helped me. You act like I okay. should know. You act like I should know what room I'm in. You know why? Because I'm blind. <laughs> and Dwight, what's your last name? Johnson, but with two N's. Because I'm special. Okay. And if you need me to spell that for you so your little lady brain can comprehend it, let me know. <laughs> You're funny. There's no Johnson J-O-H-N-S-O-N-N. registry here. J O H N S O N N. Double check your work. Okay, there's no Johnson here. Okay, in what room? What room am I in? There isn't one. There is no Johnson located here. Yeah, well, I'm here. I'm here right now. I'm at the Days Inn. Well, this you're not calling the Days Inn. I'm not? No. Oh, I must have made a mistake again. But I'm blind! <laughs> okay. Transfer me to the, day, to the Days Inn. I don't know how to do that. Well, neither do I. Because I'm blind! Well, call zero. Call the operator. I don't have my Braille phone. Okay, well, good luck with that. No, come up here, and I need you to push my finger to the button so I get the right one. (laughs) Okay. Quit laughing at me, you little hussy. I have a disability. Okay, good luck. Hussy. I'm going to have Pixel, my dog, come hump your leg. She's my service dog, and she will dominate your leg. Okay. I will give her a command. I will say, Pixel Hump! And she will hump your leg into submission. You won't be able to walk right for a week. (laughs) Thank you. You're welcome. How many legs do you want humped? One or two? (laughs) Just one. Just one? You're going to keep the other leg? Yeah. Can I hump the other one? No. (laughs) You're blind. (laughs) That's right. You're starting to learn. All right, I'm going to hang up the phone now because I'm blind. Okay, Um, have a good night. All right, guess what, though? What? I'm blind. Hello? Hey, Kayla, how are you? Who's this? Hey, you brought me some food earlier today. You were door dashing. You brought me some McDonald's. Why why did you dig through my food? Excuse you? You dug through my food. No, sir, I didn't go to McDonald's today. You got the wrong person. No, this, it said you I were didn't a even, DoorDasher. You said it said not right on the application. It's incorrect. I didn't. Well, it's incorrect because I didn't even deliver to DoorDash yeah, uh, for I called, McDonald's I today, called, sir. I called and then you declined my call and it went to the voicemail and it read off your number. So now here I am. Sir, calling. it's a. Well, I'm sorry, but I did not deliver. You contact support. Because I did not deliver from McDonald's today. I, I don't want to I was mostly at Wingstop and Cheeseburger Charlie. I'm going to go directly to the source. Why do I don't you, know how you got my number. How would you get my number? Because when I called because it, Because it's declined. not even supposed to give you my phone number. I know. When you declined it, it went to your voicemail and it read off your number. And so I wrote oh, it down. Yeah. But it was McDonald's. So you're saying I dug through your food is what you're telling yeah, they, me. You finger fucked my food is basically what I'm saying. No, you're lying. I'm sorry, but you're lying because I didn't even deliver from McDonald's. It, lo- today. it looked you're like lying. somebody tried to masturbate my hot mustard sauce packet. What? Dude, you're fucking with me. I'm not fucking with you. Like- <laughs> Let me go to bed. Dude, yes, you are. You're- I'm contacting support right now and telling them I'm being harassed by a client I'm because mark I need here to that you didn't deliver I did my work food. today. You didn't deliver my food. I'm going to mark that. Dude, out. I didn't even. I didn't because I didn't See, deliver right there, from McDonald's you said you today. You didn't deliver it, and I'm going to send this recording. You're going to be no. Like, I did not. Did not even have a McDonald's order. You go right ahead because like I did not have a McDonald's CVS order today. CVS DoorDash person that harassed that lady at CVS. No, it's not me, sir. Anyways, You're I need like to get that. some sleep. I'm going to contact support and let them know that I have a client contacting me right now. Okay. No. You have a great I don't need night. Sir. Excuse you? I don't give you permission. I am a man. You are a woman. I don't give you permission. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm contacting them right now, no, and I've got to, go to, to figure out the thing about the phone I you to number. go to bed and hang up this phone. Okay. Good night. Get off my phone. Get out of here. Watch. Hi. Has, yes, I'm here. Has the package arrived for me yet? I got a large package that's supposed to be coming to my room, 
And it was supposed to be coming by UPS. Uh-huh. I don't see anything. Okay. Um, because we're, we're going to have the wake in the room tomorrow. and But the guest of honor still has not gotten here. Okay, what's the um, what's the last name that's on the package? Oh, well, the, the name on it is Johnson, but with two N's. And what room are you in? I'm in 215. It's going to be a large package. Uh, the, the height on the package is going to be about 5 foot 7. Uh, and it's probably going to be about oh, wow. 3 foot wide. Yeah, it's my dead Nana. We're going to have her wake in our room tomorrow. Are you being serious? Yeah. Because over she she over in California where she passed away, we can't have a large gathering due to the restrictions that the governor put in place. So we're having her body shipped here to the hotel and we're gonna have the wake in my room. Yeah, I'm sorry, you're you're not gonna be able to do that. I I paid for the room. Like I, I don't understand where the problem comes in. Is there a rule or regulation that I'm overlooking, or? Uh, one, same goes here about large gatherings. Well, we're going to have 10 people. I think we're well within our rights to have 10 people in this room. Okay, uh, you'll have to pay for each of your guests. Well, they're not staying the night. That's the thing. I, I oh, know if, the, if I have overnight guests, I gotta put them on the room and I gotta pay for them and stuff. But no, they're gonna be here a couple no, of hours. It, no, it's it's anybody that goes into your room. Oh, uh, how much per person? Because they want to come say it's a twenty dollars guest fee. Oh, that, yeah, that's no thing. We're gonna say bye to Nana, and then we're gonna come down to the lobby and we're gonna eat some food and have some sandwiches, and we're gonna we're gonna just reminisce about Nana and and I'm, how the damn COVID. I'm took sorry, her. sir. Are you sure you have? The right hotel? Yeah, yeah. The, because our lobby is closed. You won't be able to come into the lobby. Oof. How many of us can? None. Okay. Um, shit. All right. Well, we'll just keep it concealed. Yeah, I'm sorry. We'll you're going to have to have this. concealed in the room. It's, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We you're are going to need another ice bucket, though, to kind of keep her cold. Okay, so this is obviously like a prank call. Now, why would anybody joke about a situation like this? You think a, my Nana dying is a joke? All right, sir. You have a good day. You are a joke. Hello, this is Kayla. How may I help you? Hello? Hello. Uh, hey, how may I help you? Oh, uh, you? Thank you for asking how you can help me. Listen, I'm in my room right now. I'm having... <sighs> I have a, a little bit of a condition. I have a phobia to do with water, and I have to. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to drown. And what I need to do is I have to go urinate, so I need somebody to stay on the phone with me. Um, unfortunately, I am unable to do no, that. Just stay on the phone. I'm going. I'm going to go pee real quick. Just stay on the phone. I don't want to drown. I don't want to drown. I'm, I understand that. Yep. However, I am busy. I have people that I have to check in and everything. I can't I, just stay I on know, the phone. I, got, I'm, I don't want to drown. I got the... Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh, man, can I sweet time? I help you. Hi. I, I'm on my way back to the hotel, and I got a little bit of a problem with my car. Okay. So I need I need three or four of your strongest employees to come outside and pull my car like Santa sleigh so I can go park it in the parking lot. I don't have any employees here at time. You, can you get some guests? Can you transfer me to a couple of rooms and I'll ask them? I uh, no, I can't do that. Transfer me to the room with the the biggest man, the biggest strongest man you've got. I couldn't tell you what room that was. Uh, can you look in the computer and just find a man and I'll ask him? Mm, no, I really can't. Because men usually have big, strong friends and stuff with them, too. And I just need them. I got, I got toe straps. I'm going to hook it to the front, and they're going to have to pull it. I don't know what guest would be able to help you. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Can you just transfer me to one man and I'll ask him? No, I can't just transfer you to a room. But, um, 
transfer me to like one fifteen, whatever's closest. I can't do that. Why not? Why, I need help. I got to get the car back. Okay, I can't just transfer you to a room. That's gets policy. Yeah, but they'll like me. That's fine. Go ahead and transfer me. I give you permission. No, I can't, and I won't. But I'll I'll give you. I'm giving you permission. I'll even put it in writing for you. No, I will not go against policy. Listen, do I need to fucking draw it in crayon just so you do your job? It, who are you? I am a guest, and I am always right. Okay. And you're, you're no fucking my weekend up. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I got a, I got a little crazy. I've had a few shots. I may or may not have crashed Excuse the car, me, but I w- and I need someone to pull it before the cops get here. Okay, well, then you need to call a tow truck. No, because they'll tell the cops on me. Okay, well, I'm not transferring you to a room. I command you to transfer against me. Policy. I command you. No, you cannot. I've commanded you. Uh, you can command anybody you want, but you ain't telling me what to do. I'll be like, Jesus, I'll give you the Ten Commandments. I'll command you ten times. Uh, okay, I, I don't know what you're up to, and if you've wrecked your car... And if you need help getting your car, call a tow truck. It's a minor fender bender. I don't want to worry the tow truck or the police about it. And they'll make me do a breathalyzer. Okay, well, okay, well, that is your issue. And I'm not calling any room. Which car is your car in the parking lot? Because I'm going to have that one. I'm going to have that one towed. Excuse me? I'm going to have your car towed. If I'm towing my car, I'm towing yours too. <laughs> To what? <laughs> she heard I'm here to go move it right now, Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> go move that button. <laughs> American in the suite. Yeah, hey, hello. Hello. You hung up on me. Uh, excuse me. I don't know who you are. Yeah, that's right. I don't know if you're a guest in this hotel. I'm a guest. I'm a very important man. And who are you? My name is Dwight. And I'm trying to get this car situation taken care of. Then call Fuck a tow truck. Get my car out of the road when I want. Sorry, there's somebody honking at me, ma'am. I need some man with a big, strong arms that can help me pull this car back to the hotel, and then can hold me okay. afterwards in his arms. Okay, this is ridiculous. Shut up. Excuse me. I need this car moved. Call a tow truck. No, you. You call a tow truck. Excuse me. Where's the concierge? Excuse me. I'm sorry. I don't care who you are. You could call a tow truck. I'm not bothering any of my guests, and I'm not putting you through to any rooms. That's against policy. My phone won't I will not call go tow against trucks. policy. I have a tow truck block on my phone. <laughs> call roadside assistance. Call the police. I don't, I don't know what to I'm tell you. I'm not rich like you. I don't have triple A either. But you know what? I do have roadside assistance uh, on my vehicle. You sound like a triple B, a triple bitch. Thank you for the compliment. I, I appreciate it. I you to hang up this phone. You know what, sir? Hang I it don't up. know who you are. Excuse Let's me? Let's go. Hang it up. I command you. Hang up this phone. You don't command me to do anything. I command you. You know what? I command you. Watch. You're going to hang the phone up because I commanded you. You're going to hang it up right now. Hang it up. Hang up the phone. You know what? Hang it up. I should just call the police. Where are you at so I can call the police on you? I'm down I'm down by the McDonald's now. Hang it up. Hang it up now. You're going to have to hang it up to call the police. Hang it up. No, I don't. I can just call from another phone. No, you're not that smart. Hang it up. Excuse me? Yeah, you're coming off really ignorant right now. Hang it up. Hang up this phone. <laughs> Excuse me, but why don't you hang up the phone? You hang it up. You shouldn't be allowed to vote. You're so stupid. Excuse me? You are the guest in this hotel? That's right. That means I'm your boss. Now hang it up. Oh, no, you are not. I pay your bills. I pay your wages. Uh, No, you do not. Now hang it up. No, you don't pay anything for me. If I were your husband, I'd fire you. You know what? Hang it up. Come on. Let's go. Hang it up. Now, poor excuse for a female. 
You know what? What? You're going to hang it up? What room are you in? Hang it up. I'm not in What's my your room name again? Right now. right now, I'm sitting here with no, the No, you're not going to be in your room either. Why not? What do you mean? You said you... What did you say your name was? Oh, don't you worry about it. Why don't you just bring a sandwich over to 215? Oh, you're in 215. I didn't say I was in 215. I said bring a sandwich. Don't jump to conclusions. You're not going to get very far. Are you, what is your name? My name is Dwight. Dwight? Dwight what? I'm not going to give you my last name because you'll probably stalk me. Because you sound like a clinger. And you don't know when to hang up the phone when a man tells you. Hang it up. You know what? Hang it up. I call here again, and I will have you arrested. You don't listen very Show well. Up at you don't hotel. have the powers to have me arrested. Hang it up. Hang up that oh, goddamn okay. phone. Hang it up. Let's go. Yeah, girls can't even. You can't even jump. You can't even dunk a basketball, and you think you're going to tell me what to do? Stupid. Don't know how to listen to a man. I don't have to listen to a man. God says you do. No, I, that God does the not. The Bible, the Bible, and I don't Bible care who you are. You the Bible says you have to obey, and you have to. Uh, the Bible? Yes, the Bible. The Bible? The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. What's a Bible? I'll Bible you. I know what a Bible is. I know what a Bible is. No, you don't. Because you're back talking to a man. You know what? You need to go read the Bible. You're on a. You, you're not a man. I command you to hang up this phone. And you went, God. And there's only one, and it sure in the fuck ain't you. Hey, he doesn't he doesn't like your language. Stop it. You know what? You, go you ain't good. You'll go to hell for that language. Yeah, well fuck you, dude. God damn, God damn you. Hey, we're calling American Engine Sweet, how may I help you? I've commanded you to hang up this phone. Why are you still on it? Answer me this. Why are you still on the telephone? Why are you calling um, ah, a good. hotel? I've got a man in charge now. Great. Can you transfer me to a guest that can help me pull the car? There aren't any guests here that have the ability to pull a vehicle. Well, I'm going to get more than one. Because I know we need to work as a team because we're men. And i got to get this car in the parking lot before the cops know I've been driving in and drinking. Well, that's not going to happen. I'm just glad. I'm just glad things are starting to come in order right now. That now there's a man in charge and things are going to start running a little more smoothly. Well, you're welcome. So, um, so what are we going to do about her? Are we going to fire her? Or are we going to send her home early? What are we going to do to punish her? Um, nothing. Let's you can stop calling the hotel. I can't tell her to go. Tell her you to can, go to one of the guest rooms and have sex and be useful. Tell her to go have a hotel. sex with a man and be useful. Uh, hang it up and press. <laughs> so my dad, like, he would tell me to do something, and then he would say, because it's a woman's job. <laughs> oh. And then I would get so riled up and then like I take this huge deep breath and then I like mouth off to him and then he just like would throw at me comments like these chauvinistic comments and um like I just thought he was like the biggest jerk but he was just like trolling me <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't do it anymore now because like I, I don't fall for it you should you should do it uh <laughs> like it's always sunny in Philadelphia no that's Charlie work Right, cat is a Charlie work. <laughs> Love you. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Who's this? Uh, my name is Dwight. I'm in a room, and I've, I'm up to some sh- shenanigans and some chicanery. Okay. I've ripped down the the shower curtain, and I'm using it as a toga now. And I'm dancing around my room. What room are you in? I don't. I don't yeah. even know what state I'm in right now. I've taken some drugs, and now I'm apparently tattling on myself. What room? So you don't know what room where you're I in, f- and you're tattling. Where tab- do I find that information? I've been busy over by the window, pressing my ass cheeks against it, so people in the parking lot can see. Ooh, can I see? Who is that? Was, was that a guy? 
What room are you in, I don't sir? know. Where do I find it? I was just last year. You don't know? Then how do you remember this number? I, I picked up the phone. Why does that guy keep saying oh, ass cheeks? I'm going to look at my ass cheeks. Because you said you were sticking your ass cheek out in the parking lot, sir. I did? No, I didn't see that. You sure did. I, I don't recall this at all. Yeah, you did. Are you sure you're okay? Do I need to call any paramedic or anything? Fl- uh, do, you, do you know how good it feels when you put your butt cheeks against the window and fart in the reverb? Oh, my God. Oh. What room are you in, sir? Because I need to know. I, where do I find it? Where do I find it? On the door. Okay. Which, I'm looking at the bathroom door. I don't see it. I don't... Not your bathroom door, sir. The outside door. Oh, okay. Hang on. Can I let, can, before I look, can I look, can I let one more fart off? Can I fart one more time against the window? It's all up to you, right, sir. Hang on, hang, I want it. You got to score me one to ten. Hang on. You got to hold your books because you want to say it. Huh? Oh, my God. The no. fart went up the window. Uh, what room are you in, sir? Uh, are you just no, prank anyway. calling me? Huh? Are what? Are you just prank calling me? No, I called you because I'm sexually attracted to you, and I want you to like me. I don't know what room you're in, sir. Well, I'm not a guest because I know you can't fraternize with the guests, so I'm just a sex pervert from America calling you to see if you'd like to get just the tip inside of you. Uh, no. I mean, I asked nicely. I, I said, please. Uh-uh, I'm engaged. If this is a prank call, do not call this number again. Don't tell me what Except to do. I, I command you to hang up this phone. <laughs> you can't fuck with me. I'm too smart. I'm smarter than you are. Hi. You can't, because I know this is a prank call. Please do not call this number again. No, Thank I'm you very much. I'm entitled to two Goodbye. more calls. You're the weakest link. Okay, oh keep going. Oh, my God, and what I will is this, 2001? December. This is September 10th, no, 2001 with that quote. because you got a prank call. Goodbye. Okay, we'll fire another call back. What do you mean my video froze? One Dwight, one with the freeze. Front desk, how may I help you? Hi, this is call number two of three. I command you to hang up the phone, you little hussy. Who are you calling a hussy? Sure, not me. You, because you don't have sex with me, so now you are a lesbian hussy. Uh, no, I have... A husband and two kids at home. I don't need to have sex with Ew, a person. I do. You had two kids before you got married? You are a hussy. No, you had two kids no, before you got married. That makes you a hussy. Honey. Hussy. No, I had two kids. I had a, was married before I was had kids. So call me a hussy. I have your number. Oh, I will report you. You don't have my number. Shut up. Shut up. Stop calling this phone or I will report you to the feds. I, to the feds? Oh, shit, I'm moving up in the world. You said the police first. Hello? Hey, 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 it's Steven. What are, you, what are you guys going around telling everybody I stole the fucking truck? You guys sold it to me. What did we do? Uh, you guys are putting out lies about me, apparently on Craigslist. I'm getting in. Hold on, wait, wait, what, what did we do? Wait, what did we do? I, I'm getting information. I paid you to, I paid you to do what? Hey, what did I pay you to do? You sold to me fucking the truck. the tire? You sold And me that truck. was it, Steven. No, I didn't sell you no fucking truck, you fucking lying piece of shit. The labor. You sold it to me for my labor and my time and my cost. Are you serious, you fucking lying piece of shit? Why are you cussing? I'm not cussing at you. I don't understand. You're a fucking lion piece of shit, is why. I, you know, I'm speaking my I truth. paid you to fucking plug the tires, you scumbag piece of shit. You, you, you want to keep lying? You told me if hey, I Hey, I'm going to get Tony Dom. Hey, Tony Dom is going to fucking get you. You know that? I ain't scared. Keep on lying, Steven. I ain't scared. You told me if I fixed the tires, I could have the truck. You are too, you little bitch. That's why you're lying. I have a bill of sale. I have a bill of sale. 
You're a liar. You wrote that yourself, you fucking scumbag piece of shit. You signed it. Hey, oh, I did? Yeah, I've got your signature. You're a lying piece of shit, Steven. I guarantee you the signature on that thing looks nothing like my signature. You want to bet? Yeah, take me to Judge Judy, puta. Hey, you fucking lame. Get a life. Just because you got seller's remorse, you sell me something and you're like, hey, oh, hey, 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 guess what's going to happen, Steven? What? I got something with you with your name on it. I got something with your name on it. Oh, yeah, what's that? Hello? Hey, listen, you don't hang up on me. I hang up on you. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, listen, Steven. What? Hey, listen, Steven. I'm listening. Hey, Steven, guess what? I didn't sign no bill of sale, you punk bitch, because I don't own the truck, you fucking lame. Then you good lied. Try, though. Then you lied really about who owned try. the truck, because you said you owned it. Hey, good try, Steven. Hey, Steven, good try, you fucking lame. Say my name a few more times. I don't care. Hey, punk ass bitch, call my number again. I'll Steven. block your phone number. My yeah, name you is forgot Steven. Right, fucking lame. Hey, punk ass bitch. Your name's punk ass bitch, as far as I'm concerned. Punk ass bitch. Don't be bitch. like your mother. Don't be a whore. Hey, Steven, you know what's funny about you saying that I sold you the truck? The day that I came to, uh, to Victor's to get the truck from you, you straight out said right in front of him. What did you say, Steven? Possession is three quarters of the law. I paid you to fucking fix the tires. With sex. Hey, didn't you say that you I gave paid me sex you to fix that truck? <laughs> Didn't didn't you say didn't you say that I paid you Collect to fix the tire? Before you speak, because you're sounding stupid right now. You sound yeah. ignorant, buddy. What's that, honey? Hey, hey, Steven. Yes. You fucking you fucking four eyed fucking toothless lame. Oh my god! Call me a nerd next. Call me a nerd. My phone. Call me a nerd. Hey, no, you're a lame piece of shit. Is what you are. You ain't no nerd. You're a lame. A la- Explain to me why a lame should hurt me so. It's a dagger right to the heart. Hello? 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 Yeah, can could you uh, answer me this? Why are you saying that I, I took your Honda? Who is this? Uh, the guy in possession of the Honda that you sold me? Uh, I never sold you in a car, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, buddy. Uh, please don't cuss. I'm a God fearing man, and I don't need that in my well, life. Well, okay, but I'll tell you what. Right now, my car was not. Excuse me. Put it on speaker. I don't have speakerphone. When did this car get sold to you? Uh, I don't know. About four, four, five days ago, something like that. No, that car was stolen from me, and I reported it stolen the night it was stolen. You, why did you report it stolen? You you sold it to me. You're a piece. You are a liar. I have a bill of someone sale. I have a said, title, ma'am. What do you have? Listen, listen. Someone might have said they were me and sold it to you, but that is not what happened. It was stolen from me. No, it was a woman with your voice. I don't know what you looked like, but I believe that you were. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. This is the owner of the car, and I never sold my car. It was stolen from me with everything I own in it. So don't play games with me. You said five hundred dollars, and the car was mine, and I gave you five hundred. I don't know what you're talking about. I did not sell my car. I did not sell my car. Okay, I so am you, not. You didn't. Lying. You didn't meet me at about no six thirty and sell me your car, sir. I never did. no, I did not. I swear to God, I did not sell my car. My car is gone. Don't swear, I'm don't swear to God no, I, when, you're, when lies are coming through your lips. Oh, no lies are coming through my mouth, sir. None. I said no lips. lies. I'm, I'm not lying to you. Not at all. I'm devastated over this, okay? So, no, I never sold my car. My car was stolen from me when I went to visit a friend last, last Sunday. Yeah. Okay? And that's exactly what happened. I did not sell you my car. Someone might, said they have everything of me. They have all my everything that... My IDs, they have everything, okay? So if they got someone, well, I they told you to sold clean you it my out car. Before I took possession of it, I said, do you want a few minutes to take it all out? You said, no, there's no, you said, no, there's nothing in there I can't replace. I didn't sell you my car. There was nothing in there I could replace. I couldn't replace that stuff. It's all too sentimental. It was all everything I owned. Did you want your diaphragm back? I didn't throw it out. It's a diaphragm. I don't have a diaphragm. 
What good does this diaphragm do? It looks like semen could leak around it. I don't have a diaphragm you, I, piece of whatever because I, that's someone else. That's not. Are you on birth my, control? Then? That is not mine. Can I take it that as a sign mine. that you're on birth control? Because I don't want any abortions. You're disgusting. Hey, 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 hey! No more name calling, please. What are you even called? You're a fucking freak or something? No. I I got a car. I got a nice car now. It's blue. It's blue. Whatever. Good for you. That's what I say to you. What was that in the background? What was that? Confirm. Say, step up to the phone, sir. Don't just sit there in the back. Present yourself. He doesn't have to present shit to no piece of com- shit like I you. I command you and I command him. You go to hell, you piece of Come shit. Come to the phone. I command you, sir. Best Western in Tempe. This is Kurt. Hey, Kurt. Um, th- this call is going to be short and uh, to the point. It's going to be short and sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, are you prepared for the call? Uh, what's going on? Well, I'm in my room, and I'm calling down. Okay. I'm calling. I'm calling down right now. I, uh-huh. I'm, I'm just, I'm just calling. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I'm just calling to say fuck you. To me? To you? What did I do? Uh, well, it's not so much what you did; it's what you represent. Like, I don't like anything you stand for. I saw you at the front, and you, you know what you did. I'm not sure. I mean, let's not play games here, Timothy. I mean, really, just just fuck you. That's all I'm offering to you. I've said my piece. Now I command you to hang up the phone. What? Yeah. You're the tranny at the front with the bangs. I've commanded you to hang up the phone. Now I want you to flip your hair and place the phone down on the receiver. So you're in the hotel right now? I am currently in my room, and I'm rocking out. I got a little ACAB going right now. All clerks are bad. Hell yeah. Yeah, all cops or all clerks are bad. That's what I'm listening to. Why? Because. Why am I bad? Yeah, because all really, I mean, all clerks are bad. So kind of, I just throw you in that group. Okay. I don't like your smile. I don't, I don't like your essence. You're too friendly. That's the other thing. You're too friendly. <laughs> You're too kind. I mean, when I came in, someone tried to offer me a discount. Bullshit. I pay full prices. I mean, you're, you're, you're too, I mean, what's with all this curt, you're courteous. You're, I mean, why are you so, I mean, what the fuck, dude? That's a, that's a, that's actually, that's a fair question. Yeah. 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 Now tell me, tell me, let's sit down. I'm going to sit down here. I'm going to sit down on the bed. Now I need you to tell me, I need you to explain yourself. Let's, let's hash this out. Let's be like Dr. Phil. So why, why do you think you got to behave in this manner? Um, yeah. Um, what I represent, right? Right. With what I, mean, I, I, mean, I was represent down, hospitality. I could, I could get lost in your eyes for hours. And you make me feel things oh, that I don't want to feel. I, and I need you to explain that. <laughs> uh, this is interesting. Yeah. Well, 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 well what, you what know. What interesting? Well, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, so you don't feel that you have to explain to me? I mean, I, I mean, how do I? I mean, I think I'm in love. I'm pouring my heart out here to you, and all you're doing is laughing. Ah, uh, oh, that's great. I've never felt like this before. Not towards another man, anyway. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I certainly apologize. It's out of my control. I mean, are you into daddy bears? <laughs> I'm okay, but uh, but I'm flattered. I'm in the twinks. I'm flattered. I, I appreciate that. Am I a twink? Uh, uh, I think you're between a twink and a cummy bear. Cummy bear? Have you ever had a cummy bear? <laughs> no, that's great. Oh, yeah. That's what you do is you go to the store and you get a bag of gummy bears, and then you oh, go God. and you ejaculate into it. But then what you do... Is you put it in with another bag of regular gummy bears, and it's like Russian roulette, right? You start spinning it. It's like, how many do I give you? It's almost like being boozled, 
but with cummy bears. <laughs> wow. What a thing. I know. It's, it's a little more... What do they think up next? Well, it's safer than Russian roulette. I mean, nobody... nobody <laughs> yeah, that's play fair. Russian, I mean, you play Russian roulette <laughs> for fun one time. And, oh, that's, and that's forever. Yeah. Cummy bears? You're not coming back from you that. You have so many cummy bears in your mouth, and you're still enjoying a good time. <laughs> well, whoever you are, I, I appreciate the phone call. That, that brightened my mood. Oh, no problem. That's what I do. Thank you. That's what I do. All right. Have a, I hope you have a great yeah, night. You too. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Hello, uh, Chandler. In. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine, except for the fact I'm calling right now to tell you you do an excellent fucking job at this hotel. You are fantastic. Okay. And I thought you should know that you are one of a kind. You are excellent. You should be Who promoted. Is Who is this? My name is Dwight, and I am so upset with the the fantastic level of service I'm getting from you. You are one of a kind. You are a fucking superstar. Sir, I just came on tonight. Yeah? Okay. Right. So what are you yelling at me about? I'm yelling at you about your excellent customer service. Sir, what do you need? I need you to quit making your eyes sparkle so goddamn much. You look beautiful. <laughs> she she got mad about my aggressive compliments. <laughs> Chandler, and this is Jen. How can I help Even you? Even the way you hung up the phone was magnificent. I applaud the shit out of you. That was great. Can you do it again? Could you duplicate that performance again? I love you. Please do it again. What do you need? I need you to quit being such a goddamn great employee. I mean, let, let's bring it down a notch. You don't got to be 100 all the time. I mean, come on. Oh, my shit. And when did this happen? I mean, right now. It's happening now as we speak. Something's happening now as we speak. Are you uh, Are you here? Are you yeah, a guest here right I'm now? I'm in my room. I'm in my room. I will never stay at another hotel ever again because you are a, you are a fucking champion. You are the champion of the world. If you had to fight Rocky right now, you would knock his bitch ass out. So what room are you in? Since you're here, you could tell me what room you're in so I could come resolve an issue. But you're obviously not in a room here then, right? I'm in 115. Very clean room. It is clean as shit in here. There's, there is no one in checked into that room because it was you. It was but nobody's checked in that room. I'm in the room. I, I am in the room. Your gold star right. services are going to blind me. Yeah, all right. Be right there, sir. Okay. Top notch. Thank you for calling MK Hotel. This is Major speaking. How much? Oh my you? God, you sir, you are the top notch of this establishment. You know how to get to people. You know how to make them feel welcome. Oh, thank you. Oh, see, you're, you're taking it the wrong way. I just called another hotel, and I yelled uh -huh. compliments at them, and they thought that I was pissed off and that and that there was a problem. Oh no, yeah. I'm not taking it in problem. No, like, yeah. hey, thank you. For like five minutes, <laughs> I yelled compliments at this lady. And she was she was yelling at me, and she thought I, w I was having an issue. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I like compliments. Yeah, I, I yelled them at her, too. And she was like, oh, well, I'm coming to your room to solve your problem. I'm like, I don't have a problem. <laughs> she couldn't take a compliment, right. man. I don't, know, I don't know what her problem was. Oh, Maybe she was yeah. menstruating. Oh. I don't know. Right. <laughs> she said menstruating. Um, and while I got you on the phone here, can you transfer me to... Uh, to a guest, maybe a female, possibly on her period, so I can speak with her. <laughs> um, we get a lot of information upon check in. I don't think that's part of right, our. Right, you know, just, check -in. Just, shoot, just shoot me to a woman. <laughs> just shoot me to a woman, then I'll ask her. <laughs> okay. And I'll call back. I'll call back and report to you. Just transfer me to a woman, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right, then. Thank you. <laughs> well, if this guy transfers me, he's the best. And the movie usually starts 10 to 15 minutes after the show. 
because Cat has to go uh, evacuate her asshole and also smoke a cigarette. Uh, I've, I've told her she should probably do both at the same time in the bathroom, but she feels she has to drag it out. She, f- she feels like she's got to go that. outside and get fresh air. When she you can just sit on the toilet, you. shit, and then let the vent suck all the smoke up from her cigarette. Quality in, how can I help you? Hey, quality in? Yeah. Yeah, I'm smoking in the bathroom. Okay. I'm just letting you know I'm smoking in the room. I know I'm not supposed to, but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, it's a four hundred and fifty dollar charge. Yeah, but I've got the vent on. It doesn't matter. It's going. It's going right up and out. So no charges. Uh, for what room? Uh, well, <laughs> I don't feel that I should uh, give you that information now because you're threatening a four hundred and fifty dollar charge. I'm just trying to cut down on my time. I I like to plan my day out. I've got so many minutes in a day. So I figured if I'm going to sit down and have have a shit on the toilet, I can smoke at the same time and the vent takes the smoke out. Okay, uh, yeah, well, what room would it be for What if you're calling? What room? 215? Yes. I always request 215. Oh. Okay, but yeah, it, either way, it'll be a two hundred and fifty. Uh, sorry, four hundred and fifty dollar charge if you're smoking in the room. Uh, I'll pay you one seventy five and not a dime more. Um. <laughs> well, you can talk to the manager about it in the morning because she will be informed. Well, that's fine, but if you're going to charge me one seventy five at a minimum, I'm putting these cigarettes out on the bed sheets. Well, the charge is $450. Okay, and what's included in that charge? It's our policy for the hotel. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying what is included in that fee. If I pay you $450, what do I get? Because you're, tar- you're smoking in the room. Right, so I get smoking privileges for $450, but what else do I get? That seems steep for just smoking. You don't have any privileges because this is a non-smoking hotel. Do I get to take the TV? The whole hotel is non-smoking. <laughs> He's in don't tell him. That's I told you. You don't tell him where I'm at. So for four fifty, I get to smoke in my room and I get to take the television home with me. 